All right, that time is coming up. You know it very well if you've lived in Tahoe long enough. Sunday, June 4th, 2023, America's most beautiful bike ride. Yeah, you know it. Curtis Fong has had that for 30 years. And now he's turned over to his partnership with Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. They have raised $110 million for both of those diseases, and that is awesome. However, I'm going to miss Curtis like crazy. He's a good guy. I, uh, Kurt, are you out there? Come in and visit us in here. Anyways, I better get my butt in gear. You, you've ridden the, around the lake. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, when you do that ride, everybody's all smiles when they come out of the casino, and then they hit that first hill at Emerald Bay, and it's like a war zone. People are like laying on rocks and stuff, and the same thing. Yeah, yeah, like why did I do this? Yeah, and then you get to the end on 28, same thing. That last hill in the sun, it is just, it's brutal. It is really a hard ride. I mean, for you, it's, I'm sure it's an easy thing, but anyways, I always like that last station at the top. You get to the top and there's, uh, it's got like gummy bears and stuff like that. Anyways, Good let's stuff. get over and take, take a look at the uh, America's Most Beautiful Bike Ride. If it wasn't for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, I might not be here today. Well, LS means to me is the hope and, and the chance to cure blood cancer. It's a variety of talented people. And behind me, you see a group of one of our main campaigns, which is Team in Training, and they're here to raise funds to help LS cure blood cancer. I do it for research that the money's going to. I do it for the patient care. Those two things are very crucial to TNT and LLS, um, all the other different campaigns. I also do it for the people that are in the doctor's office right now, who are sitting down in front of their doctor, who are getting the bad news. I do it for them. And I ride for you know, my son, who was diagnosed with leukemia. And then I ride for the people on my back. Training is a family to me. It's a group of people that come together as a community for a wonderful cause that is extremely important to me as a survivor. It's developed so many great friendships for me and I'm really grateful for that. I'm out here, well, because my son had leukemia and he got cured. And the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society was a big part of not only his cure, but my wife and my peace of mind. And I just want to thank everyone who is out here doing this, especially those of team in training and Leukemia Film Society, because without them, she wouldn't be here. Go team! <laughs> I want to see an end to blood cancers. I don't want anyone to ever have to go through what survivors like me had to go through. And this is the organization to make that happen. All right, pro tip on that. Red vines, usually up at the Emerald Bay Station. And potato wedges are so good. Yeah. And sandwiches at Incline. Sandwiches at, oh, sandwiches and Incline. That's right, sandwiches and Incline. And Kings Beach has another big aid station, oh, too. I can't remember. Is it Kings Beach or is it Incline? There's, Kings Beach. I yeah, think where they have Kings the park Beach. on the right-hand side? Yeah, the park, yeah. <sighs> yep. Kings Beach has good, yeah, that's a big one. Get your butt in shape and get ready because it's coming up. 